Have you ever done one of those searches where you do a query and you get a lot of results, but a lot of them are not very good and in, the, in that there's a bunch of stuff in there that you don't want? That's what we call invasive results. That is, you do a query that seems normal, but it turns out there's some other word that gets in there and pollutes or makes your results kind of very off topic. So this lesson is about how to use the minus operator to filter your result set to exclude those things that you don't want to see. Here's how it works. The minus operator is just another operator like file type or site colon, except there's no colon in this one. You just use the minus symbol or hyphen as you see here. Here the query is Tesla coil minus circuits. So when we do the query Tesla coil, we get a bunch of results and minus circuits then says, let's knock a hole in that set of results. Here we see the set of results represented by that oval. There's a bunch here. So now we want to see those results without the word circuits in it. That's what we see here. So in essence, this knocks a hole or reduces or filters the results head down to just the stuff you want to see. As another example, you might think about doing a search for salsa, you know, the thing you put on top of your Mexican food. But there are a lot of different senses of the word salsa. For example, there's salsa dancing, there's different kinds of things uh, you can think about. Now suppose you're, for example, interested in the salsa recipe, but you're allergic to tomatoes. How do you get tomatoes out of the recipe? Salsa minus dancing to eliminate all the dancing references, and then minus tomatoes that will remove that word from any recipe you might find. See how this works? Let me show this to you live. So now suppose we wanted to search for, say, the uh, famous Renaissance artist Michelangelo. Like that. And you see there's a bunch of, well, there's a spell correction here, which is great, um, but there's a bunch of results here. But now we're looking not for Michelangelo, the painter or the artist, but some other sense of Michelangelo, like, say, a business with that name. So what we would do here is modify the query by doing minus artist. And now you see what we're getting are a bunch of other kinds of results, cafes, playgrounds, restaurants, and so on. We also see these pictures up here for Michelangelo because there are a lot of pictures on the web without any particular reference to the particular artist. So in essence, what we've got here is a way to remove results from the kind of search you've done. One thing to notice here is that you cannot have a space after the minus sign. So see, salsa minus dancing minus tomatoes, no space. If you put the space in there between the minus and the, the word you want to exclude, what you'll end up doing is emphasizing that word. So if you do salsa minus and then a space dancing, what you'll get are a lot of salsa dancing results, and that's probably not what you want. So in essence, what I've tried to show you here is that we've got three different kinds of filters to this point. File type, site, and now minus. File type gives you just those files. Site gives you just within a particular site. And minus will remove things that are accidentally in your results set that you don't want, those invasive results. Give it a try in the next activity.